been learning about value investing, finance, just regular investment for a while now, but you don't know where to go next. You're getting confused about the vast amount of information on the internet. You don't want to waste your time on crap information. You want good information um, and reliable information. In this series of videos on value investing and finance education, you will find those answers to those questions and much more. My name is Jason Rivera. Welcome to Value Investing and Finance Education. Hey, Jason here. I'm here today in my outside office to talk about a concept that kind of came out of nowhere yesterday. Um, I was, and I say was because I've left that group now. And if, uh, well, I'm in a bunch of Facebook Facebook groups worldwide on value investing, finance, that kind of stuff. I was in a group yesterday. Uh, what is it called? Um, value investing and growth dividends or something like that. Um, something like that. And the uh, the context for this is I've now left the group. Uh, <laughs> is because this guy just went off. One of the admins just went off yesterday, talking about how Warren Buffett's an evil man. Um, with no really context given or anything he the actual article that it just came from he said uh, he posted it the admin who called Warren Buffett an evil man said that or the, the original article was a um, was it an Uber article yeah where Warren Buffett was um, planning on making a three billion dollar investment in Uber and it fell apart and he just started talking about how Warren Buffett's an evil man and stuff like that I was like Okay, whatever. Um, no context given, nothing else. No reason why, nothing. Uh, and then one of the commenters said that uh, he pretty much agreed with the admin. And he said he's not even a good stock picker. All he does is pick companies with uh, insurance float and use those to his advantage. So there's two different points here I want to talk about. The evil man thing. I've heard it every once in a while um, with Warren Buffett. I don't really get it, frankly. I mean, because he's rich, because uh, he's worth tens of billions of dollars. I I don't really get it. Um, I don't de deify Warren Buffett like a lot of people do. I think he's a great businessman, probably the best businessman the world's ever seen, probably the best investor the world's ever seen. But when it comes to social stuff and politics and he, see, he, he can be a little bit hypocritical in those kind of situations. I say a little bit. Uh, and I mean a little bit. Um, I don't... I don't... <laughs> the evil man stuff is just ridiculous to me. Um, doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, I, I frankly don't even know what to say to that. It's just insane. Um, he give, He's giving away... Or he's giving away and planning to give away more than $100 billion dollars. I don't understand how that's evil. I don't understand how money, making money is evil. I don't understand how supporting, I think there's what, 350,000 plus employees in all these Berkshire Hathaway companies. I don't see how that's evil. Um, and their families. Um, I, I don't get it. I mean, there's good and bad to situations, like especially in the past when he used to invest in uh, Berkshire Hathaway. Um, the old Berkshire Hathaway was one of his uh, biggest failed investments. They had to close down the plant uh, when, when did they close down the plant? 70s or 80s, I think is when they finally closed it. Um, so people lost their jobs, but I mean, the, the industry was dying. It wasn't profitable. You can't keep an unprofitable business open forever at, um, uh, at infinitum for <laughs> just to help people out. That, that's not how business works. That's not, that's not how the real world works. Um, but an evil man is just insane. Um, so I left the group. Um, and that's frankly not surprising that I saw that in that group because that same admin who posted this was the same admin I talked about in one of my other previous videos who said that I shouldn't have written my book because I didn't have his version of the proper experience, which I talked about in another video. Um, so that's number one. Number two is Warren Gruff Buffett isn't even a great stock picker because he just picks businesses and uses their in investment float. So, picking businesses and using their investment float makes him a bad investor, or 
or a bad stock picker or if he is a bad stock picker then what does that make the rest of us just absolutely horrendous or <laughs> I don't I don't get it I don't get I, and what I call these kind of people is just haters they just they are um, and they are on the internet, so they're probably just uh, an internet, a different type of an internet troll. Um, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, because he picks great businesses and buys the entire business, he has the ability to buy entire businesses now for the last 20, 30 years, whatever it is. He's a bad stock picker. When he has pretty much went from zero to What's Berkshire Hathaway worth now? $350, million, $400 billion? $350, $400 billion? <laughs> but he's bad at it? I, I, I'm at a loss for words. I don't understand how that's being bad at something if you're worth that much money and you built pretty much the entire company from scratch. I don't get it. Um, <laughs> But um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm no longer in that group. <laughs> um, insanity, and frankly, I, I, I got out of the group and I blocked those people just because I hate, I don't, I don't mind seeing opposing views if they're logical and they are at least somewhat gr grounded in reality. I actually like seeing that kind of stuff because it uh, makes me think and brings on discussion and makes me expand my kind of mindset but just haters and people saying this kind of stuff Warren Buffett's an evil man with no context whatsoever and Warren Buffett's a terrible stock picker because he just uses his company's insurance float to become rich if it was so easy and he was so bad at it then why is he so rich and why is everybody else not as rich as him I'm a big believer in investment float so <laughs> an insurance float so, as you know, my entire series on float, I've written a book on float, uh, a PDF on float, I've written a book uh, on float, so I'm a big believer in float. Um, it's legal, it's, there's nothing evil about investment float whatsoever. I don't, I don't even understand what the, what the bash is on investment float. If you don't know how to use it, then it becomes negative, but if you know what it is, I, I literally see zero downside to knowing what investment float is and using it to your advantage. It's legal. There's nothing wrong with it. You don't hurt anybody by doing this. You're providing a service in the insurance world that is necessary. Um, especially, uh, was it the car and home industry, um, car insurance industry, which is mostly what Berkshire's half, halfway is in, with, along with reinsurance, stuff like that. Um, I mean, these are everyday services. How, home insurance. People, you have to have home insurance if you have a mortgage, as far as, to my knowledge, in the United States. Throughout the entire U.S., you have, if you have a mortgage and you have financing on your home, you have to have insurance. Um, you have to have car insurance, I think, pretty much no matter what in every state. Uh, as long as you drive, you have to have car insurance. So, I mean, these are things that people have to have that provide them with insurance again if something happens to their car they get in a massive wreck their engine explodes or a natural disaster I'm in Florida so a hurricane hits my home I will get reimbursed for whatever my home is worth or up to the value of the loan or whatever I don't remember the exact terms of my loan but people don't most people I would say 99% of people in the US don't have tens of thousands of dollars to put down on a new car if something happens to their car or specifically hundreds of thousands of dollars if something happens to the home. So these are services that are necessary that help people. Um, I, I just don't get it. Um, either of these points. But yeah, suffice it to say, I've left that group. Uh, doesn't surprise me, again, that I've seen that kind of stuff in that group because of what the, that same admin said to me before. Um, but it, I just don't get it. Um, I've never, even when I was younger playing sports and stuff, I never understood haters. I don't get them now. Um, I, for the most part, ignore them. But when I come across something like this, I, <laughs> I've got to share my thoughts because it's just insane. It's insane. Um, insane. I, I don't know what else to say about it. It's Warren Buffett being an evil man because he's rich or whatever. And then Warren Buffett sucks, sucks at stock picking when he's probably the best investor ever. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. But... Um, I hope this video helped. If you want to see um, 
what uh, the um, information about on float go to the blog uh, about that book um, and the information there's a free series on the blog as well for that um, if you want to see the video where I talked about the um, what was it the admin saying I shouldn't have written my book because I lacked the proper experience in this definition um, that should be linked below or left right wherever you're watching this um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic because this is frankly insane. I don't, while I don't deify Buffett, he is the best investor ever. He's a great role model for all of us um, and what we're trying to build, what I'm trying to build, what we're probably all, most of us are trying to build in our, building our own companies, building our own investment funds, whatever. He's a great role model. He's a great teacher. He seems like a great person. I've never met him in person. He seems like a great person from everything I've read. Um, so to call him an evil man is just insane. And to say he sucks at stock picking is just insane. So um, I'd love to hear your comments on this below, uh, knowing this is going out to largely a value investing and investing group. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you agree with me on this, but I still love to hear your thoughts um, below. Uh, make sure to check out our other playlist to left, right below, wherever you're watching this, left, right below. Um, where we talk about case studies, uh, we do free trainings, value investing and finance trainings. Um, we talk about concepts like this. I give my thoughts on speculative investments, cryptocurrencies, uh, retirement funds. Um, I can do book reviews in our value investing in your car series. Those, again, all of our playlists should or our videos should be right left below, depending on where you're watching this. Um, make sure to subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube and hit the bell so you're notified anytime we release a new video. Um, Again, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this because this is just insane. But until next time, I'll talk to you again soon. Have a great day. Bye.